Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakhakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, greetings and salutations to you, Akim, upon the testimony of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. This is a herbal edification on butcher's broom. <clears throat> Be going over a few of the benefits uh, of this shrub, of this herb. Um, and how you can apply it to your life. But firstly, let's go to the scholarship of the Holy Bible um, to legitimize our efforts. So this is the book of Genesis, the first chapter. In the 11th verse. And God said, or as we know in the Hebrew, Allah Hayim. And, and Allah Hayim, and powers said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb, Aishab, yielding Zarai. I believe that, Arabium Zarai. says, and the herb, Aishab, and then yielding Ma Mazarayai. Zarai meaning to, um, to sow, to scatter. And that's how butcher's broom was spread. All right? Butcher broom falls in this category. And then it says seed. All right? And... In the plant, it has a seed, and that's how it germinates, that's how it reproduces, right? Okay? It says, um, it says, in the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. All right? Now, it says, and it was so. Now, let's go to the, pardon me. Let's go to the very next verse. And what does it say? Verse 12, it says, And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. It was good. So, Kayat the Wab. All right. So, these people who have problems with, you know, herbs, they have a problem with the Heavenly Father. All right? They have an issue with the Heavenly Father. Let's get some more scriptures, and then we're going to go into the benefits. So this is the book, Sirach, otherwise known as Ecclesiasticus, of the Apocrypha books. Chapter 38, verse 4, it says, The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth. And so what is that? Gold, silver, copper. These are medicines. Um, um, Tourmaline, sungite. Those are, those are medicines. All right. Red clay. Red clay is a medicine. Bennonite clay. That's a medicine. All right. Sea moss. That's a medicine. Bladderac. Medicine. All right. Sarsaparilla. Medicine. All right. All right. Butcher's broom. Medicine. Sage. Lavender, rosemary. All right. These things are medicinal for the human body. It says, out of the earth. And he that is wise will not abhor them. So if you're wise, you're not going to hate them, but you're going to use them in their just portion. Because, uh, by the way, a false balance. Let's get that scripture. That's in the book of Proverbs. Real quick. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. A false balance is an abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. So anything taken out of false balance can corrupt you. If you drink too much yerba mate that has too much caffeine, yerba mate is excellent for you. But if you drink too much of it, that's too much caffeine. If you, if you drink too much blood root or you, you know, 
Blood root is really good for you. It's a powerful medicinal herb that the Gadites had been using for thousands of years. All right? And you can put it on your skin to kill skin cancer. It does a lot of great things. But if you drink too much of that, it will kill you. <laughs> you see? So it's the, the circumstance and the situation, the question is, are you doing a just weight? Or are you abusing? And that's why the scripture says wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. Having that wisdom, having that knowledge, having that um, prudence and temperance, you know, that patience. And these things were made for our sakes. Scripture said the world was made for our sakes. But um, let's get into some scientific back information regarding the butchers. All right. Butcher's Broom. This is from Healthline.com, which is an excellent site if you want to do some research on specific herbs or plants and the medicinal benefits behind them. Healthline.com is an excellent um, scholastic source. See, as you can see, this is this was published by um, like uh, MSRD, all right, or written by. All right, so a butcher's broom, a shrub with surprising benefits. Okay, it says it is native to Western Europe and has especially especially tough branches. All right, so let's go to some of the benefits. That's how it looks. Potential benefits. Butcher's broom and its compounds are associated with several potential health benefits. Inflammation in your... So may reduce inflammation. Inflammation is your body's natural way to heal itself and combat infections. However, chronic inflammation can cause health problems as it increases your risk of certain diseases. Butcher's broom contains compounds such as Roscoe G9 that may help suppress inflammatory signals and potentially treat damage caused by inflammation. For instance, in test tube studies, Roscoe G9 um, reduces inflammation markers and stops the production of enzyme which promotes cartilage breakdown in people with osteoarthritis. So what does that mean? It's good for your blood. It's good for your bone health. It's good for your joints. All right. It also says it's associated with um, treating diabetes. All right. And, it's, and here we go. I knew it. Since they said something about osteoarthritis and talking about bones, I knew it had something to do with the blood. So as we can see here, may treat poor blood circulation. All right? Which well, that coincides with inflammation. They're, you know, they're going to be, the inflammation is going to be based upon the blood circulation, essentially. All right, I'm going to just skip around. Um, it says, in fact, research indicates that butcher's broom significantly reduces tension and swelling around the lower legs and ankles in adults with CVI. Additionally, an analysis of 20 studies, so this is not us just pulling something out of our, no, this is the work cited. It says, additionally, an analysis of 20 studies found that a supplement that contained butcher's broom significantly reduced pain, cramps, and swelling in adult, adults with CVI. It says may reduce symptoms of osteoarthritic um, hypotension. All right, so dealing with blood pressure ailments. And of course, it's also good for hemorrhoids, as you, you can see here as well. It says to avoid hemorrhoids, many people turn, nat turn to natural products such as butcher's broom. 
Butcher's broom is used in alternative medicine to treat hemorrhoids and other vascular conditions and appears to reduce swelling and help vein, uh, vein contract. It says in one study, 69% of people taking a supplement containing butcher's broom rated it an effective treatment for hemorrhoids and reduced pain, swelling, and other symptoms. You know? All right, it says side effects. Uh, though there are few human studies on butcher's broom, it appears safe with little to no side effects. All right? So, you know, of course, you know, take everything with a grain of salt of what I've given you. You know, and that salt is the spirit. All right? So, absolutely, you know, it's, it's an excellent herb. I would say the indulgent for inflammation, for hemorrhoids, if you're dealing with hemorrhoids, right? Uh, for blood disorders, vascular disorders of all types. Um, so, uh, and with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakodash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and greetings and salutations to you, I give up on the testimony of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. Shalom, and keep the faith.